how do I keep my dog in the fence? You know, having your dog escape out of your yard is, uh, is a pretty scary thing. I know it's happened to some friends of mine. Um, dogs get out of the yard, get out of the fence, and they get killed. And that's just, it's just not a good thing. Nobody wants to lose their dog that way. So I'm just going to give you three things that I think that could really help you uh, in, this, in this circumstance. So thing number one that you should do to keep your dog you know, in your backyard to keep them from leaving is make your backyard actually fun place for your dog to be. Now, that does make a lot of sense, right? Like you put your dog back there if they're escaping. Well, it's not all that good. So what can you put in your yard that's going to be interesting? Well, the number one thing you can put in your yard is yourself. Go in your backyard with your dog and play games. I'll tell you every morning when I wake up, I go into my backyard and I play with both of my dogs. We play their favorite game. They're fetching. We're tugging. We're doing different things, but I make the backyard a ton of fun. Now, if you can't be in your backyard all the time, there are some, to uh, there are some toys that you can take back there or that you can put back there that are really fun for your dog. One of them that I'm thinking about is called the Jolly Ball. Now there's two varieties of the Jolly Ball. There's a Jolly Ball that has a rope in it, and there's also a Jolly Ball that has a handle on it. These two toys, the Jolly Ball with the rope and the Jolly Ball with the handle, are fantastic toys for your very active dogs that are in the backyard. Now, what's number two? Well, number two is what type of fence do you have? If you have a four foot fence, do you have no fence? Do you have a six foot fence? Look, fencing really does matter. It's you know, besides having being fun in the backyard, you got to have some kind of fence to help your dog. These cyclone fences, a lot of times, it's not going to cut it. If you have a Doberman or a German Shepherd, Belgian Malinois, any of these really athletic breeds, those dogs can clear that fence, you know, without any kind of thought. So having a good size fence up is going to really help your dog stay in the backyard, okay? Now, the third thing that you can do besides making your backyard fun, besides having a nice high fence, is you can do one of these two things. You can have an invisible fence, or you can also install the rollers that go over the top of your fence. Let me go over the rollers first. What you essentially do here is you have a cable running across the top line of your fence. It's a pretty tight t uh, cable, and you have a PVC around that cable. So what happens is, is when the dog jumps up to try to climb over the fence, that PVC roll, that PVC pipe will end up rolling. Now, if you have a really high fence and your dog gets up there, they could injure themselves. But this is one way that a lot of folks keep dogs in their yards by putting this tension cable across the top of their fence with the PVC roller on the top. Now for me, if I was gonna do something like that, I would much rather do the invisible fence with the, uh, with the collar for my dog. I think that'll do a good job of keeping the dog contained in the yard. So number one, keep it fun in the backyard for your dog. Number two, have a high privacy fence, six to eight feet. And then number three, if you absolutely have to, get the roller at the top of the fence and then also maybe install an electric fence or invisible fence in your backyard.